Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you what I picked up from the Warner Archive sale, so stay tuned. So today I picked up my order from the Warner Archive sale. Um, quite a few titles in this box. Um, from what I understand, this was going to be their last sale from the website, or maybe even that the website was going to be going down. Um, so this right here is the 4 for 44 sale which makes all these titles $11 each and I think I might have actually picked up a few titles that weren't part of the sale just because I needed them to be added to the collection um, so there are quite a few titles in this box um, I'm just going to randomly just pick these up pick them out of the box here one at a time and just show you what I picked up so first up, I got Scarecrow um, with Gene Hackman and Al Pacino. Now, I haven't ever seen this before, but it does get really great reviews. So I added this one to the collection. Um, Brigadoon, a CinemaScope film. Not really sure about this one. Um, it does have Gene Kelly in it. Not very familiar with it. But any of the CinemaScope um, films that are out there, I really try to add those to the collection. Dracula AD 1972. This is one of those Christopher Lee Dracula films that I wanted to add to the collection. I do have most of the other ones. I um, really do like the artwork on this one. Okay, um, Dem um, Demon Seed with Julie Christie. Not very familiar with this one. It is an older horror film. Looks very interesting. Um, Village of the Damned. So here's the original. I do have the remake in the collection. I've seen it. Um, really like having the original in the collection. Action Jackson. I've always enjoyed this film. I remember seeing it back when it was released. Um, really good, fun action type movie. Um, Law, The Law and Jake Wade. An older western type film. Um, Seven Days in May. Now, I have almost picked this up a couple of times, but now that I know that the sales are no longer going to be going on, I went ahead and add, added this one. This is supposed to be a really good film. Um, Wolfen, which I was already surprised that I didn't already have this in the collection. I was surprised that I didn't already have this in the collection. Um, it's one that I've eyed a couple of times. I went ahead and just pulled the trigger on. Um, Key Largo. So this has got Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall in it. This right here is a classic that I've never seen. Yankee Doodle Dandy. The Ballad of Cable Hogue. I believe that's how you say that. Uh, another Western. The Valley of Kwangai. The Valley of Kwangi, The Valley of Kwangai. Now this is one of those films that, um, as you can tell, it's got some of that classic um, modeled dinosaur type creatures in it. Probably with some stop motion. Okay, we have The Satanic Rocks of Dracula. Another, um, another film that I wanted to add to the Dracula collection. From Hammer. Okay, we have The Thin Man, another older film. Um, I watched the trailer for this one, looked really, really good. Okay, The Illustrated Man, another older film. The Sunshine Boys. Um, this right here's got Walter Matthau and George Burns in it. I did see this in way back. I want to say late 70s. Um, Bogart and Bacall with The Big Sleep. Never seen that one. My Blue Heaven. Now this has got Steve Martin and Rick Moranis in it. Um, it didn't do very well at the box office from what I remember reading. But I went ahead and added that one to the collection. Possessed with Joan Crawford. Now this right here is another Joan Crawford film that I wanted to add to the collection. It is one of those older ones. Of course, if it has Joan Crawford in it, it has to be older. Um, after, the, um, after the Thin Man, 
which is a sequel to The Thin Man, which I added to the collection. So now I've got this one. Um, the Shop Around the Corner, it's a James Stewart film. A Streetcar Named Desire. This is one that I've been wanting to get the Digibook for. I um, have never been able to get a good deal on the Digibook, so I went ahead and just bought this version. The Mortal Storm. Lady Hawk, which I thought I already had in the collection, but apparently I did not. Um, so I got this one. I, I, I won't say I heard some good things about this one, but I really haven't heard very much about this one at all. So this right here is Days of Wine and Roses. Not very familiar with this one. Paul Newman is Harper. I'm, I do enjoy the Paul Newman films. I didn't have this one in the collection. A Patch of Blue. Suspicion. I really do like the way that um, Warner Archive does these older artworks on their um, sleeves. Uh, Mr. Roberts, another classic. Never actually seen this film. Um, Showdown in Little Tokyo. So this right here has got um, Dolph Lundgren and Brandon Lee in it. I've, I remember seeing this one back on VHS, I believe. Um, and so it's nice to have that one in the collection. Hell on Frisco Bay. Let's see, let me just get the rest of these out. Let's see what we got here. You're the Dragon. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? The Picture of Dorian Gray. Ride the High Country. World Without End, another CinemaScope film. And Mr. Nice Guy. So this right here is a Jackie Chan movie. Um, like it says, it's got the extended original cut in it. I am a fan of Jackie Chan. Um, I do have quite a few films of his in my collection. So it's nice to have that one. So anyway, I'm sorry about all the um, the rambling. I am very happy to have these titles in the collection. Hopefully you were able to participate in the Warner Archive sale. So yeah, not all of these right here were um, $11. Um, I, I was thinking I might have picked up some other ones, but I, I remember now that I did not pick up the, um, I think there were some of the um, Warner Brothers DC TV shows that I did not pick up. I ended up getting those another way. Uh, but anyways, hopefully you were able to get all these titles that you wanted in your collection. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know which of these titles that you um, have seen and maybe which of these you would recommend me checking out first. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you if you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you'd like to check out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.